What is up? I'm just waiting for Dave right now. It's Thursday the 20 something. Thursday the 20. I don't know. Who knows what day it is. But it's Thursday. Dave's about to be finished. He's about to pull in. And we may be able to catch him. Ask him some questions. Some people have been asking me questions. What's it like for a new guy? Well, I was a new guy, but you guys don't want to ask me. You want you, know, you want to email me and ask me what Dave thinks it's like. So I'm going to ask Dave. So I'm just going to spend today answering some questions that you guys have emailed me over the past two weeks. That's all this video is going to be about because you guys want to hear from Dave. You want to hear from my driver, Dave. Dave, 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 Dave. So if Dave will let me, I'm, just, I'm not even going to ask him. I'm just going to walk up on him when he pulls in. I'm going to ask him the questions you want me to ask him. And uh, I'm going to answer the questions you want me to answer later tonight. Some of them will be good answers that you'll like, and some of them will be bad answers that you won't like. But I'm always honest and transparent, so that's what I'm going to do. But for now, I'm just waiting for Dave. So we'll be back. He made it. Now it's my turn. We've uh, been running our truck 24 hours a day, almost every day for the past two weeks. And she's still purring. I caught Dave. He just got here to switch out with me. What's up, Dave? What's up? So people want to know, how was it when you're starting compared to now? This is your second full week by yourself. Is it? Yeah. I thought it was the third. Uh, I mean, you start on like a Thursday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so right. this would be like your second full week by yourself. Oh, it's, it's real cool. You know, once you get the hang of the procedures and, and what they want you to do and everything as far as loading and unloading, it's pretty easy. You know, but I've had prior experience with tankers, you know, cryogenics and uh, chemicals. So. Is it hard? No. Anything not hard? Mm -mm, not at all. Once you get, I, I, I think the, the most uh, time consuming thing is getting the paperwork down for us, the people net inputting information and then you got a printer you got to print stuff out on but once you get through all that it's a piece of cake this ain't nothing anybody could do it right yeah as long as you could drive exactly that's the main thing you you got to know how to drive out here I some mean, of these guys come out here they don't they don't have any experience yeah. so they want to they get mad because you have to have two years experience they don't understand what we go through yeah because you turn on a leash road and off a of main highway and you can't turn. Look look at the, the wheelbase and the length of this truck. <laughs> it's a big try, truck. Try to turn something like this on a uh, on a little small leash road. You, that's that's probably the main thing you, headache you're gonna have is that right there. But other than that, it's cool, man. What's got, the, what's got a the cool oil? partner right here. Well, what's the oil feel like? What's it like? Do you like it? The environment? Is it rough? We've been working straight for a long time, man. We've been. I'm trying to think of an uh, answer to what you just asked me. <laughs> the oil field? What's yeah. it like? The politically correct answer. Yeah, well. It sucks out here, yeah, but. You can have this shit. But it could be worse. Yeah, it could definitely could be worse. We're alive. Yeah, that's We're right. We're making money. That's right. That's right. What do you I guess to me, it's, it's, this seems local. I like being over the road, stretching my legs, and, you know, just rolling, but. Yeah, I don't, I don't even do 120 miles a day. What do you think about Bridger? Since we're not Bridger anymore, we're pilot. We're pilot, but what do you you worked for Bridger for a little bit? So what do you think yeah, about Bridger? It's, it's you started cool. off at Bridger. It's cool. Any difference? No. I mean, no, not at all. And I'm not an owner operator, so I'm speaking from a company driver perspective. But yeah, I deal with all the the bullshit. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> but I mean, it's cool. What about the process getting on? What did you think about oh, that? That was, easy. that was the easiest part, shoot. Yeah, that was real easy. Didn't take no time. Should guys should guys be an owner-operator or should they work for a driver or, or an owner-operator? What if do you, you think? Don't, if you don't have the experience out here in the oil field like me, I, I'd rather work for an, an owner-operator first, you know, get the experience as far as, you know, the proce like I said, the procedure go. Because if you make a spill out here, that's your ass. That is your ass. So, I mean, you got to be very careful about all that. That's probably the main thing. But, yeah, I would work for an owner-operator first. Get your spirits down. Especially if you if you don't have over two years' experience. How the hell are you going to be an owner-operator? When you don't even know how to drive the truck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm going to go, Dave. All right, man. I'm going. 
go uh, ahead, go up to Walmart and do what I do. I got some questions that I have to answer that <laughs> deep down in the heart. People want to know some juicy stuff. That's right. But I'll be unfiltered. All right, that, that'll work. Yeah, good, I, good dude right here, man. No, nah, he's just saying that because I'm standing right here. Uh, I don't care if he wasn't standing right <laughs> he's here. He's just saying it because I'm standing Look, right it, here. Look, put it like this. If, if I see him in a fight, <laughs> automatic, I'm jumping in no matter jumping what. In. I don't care if it was his fault or not. Jumping in. I'm jumping in. No, I'm lucky and blessed to have Dave. I've said that a few times, man. He's a good worker. He, uh, he bends over backwards. He's understanding. He works hard. And we're going to kill it. I try. We got big plans. Dave's number one right now. So we got big plans coming in the future. <laughs> I'll be back. So, question one that you guys ask me that I get probably two times, three times a week is I read reviews about Bridger Online. Are they the same company? or do they perform or act the same as the reviews I read online? And the answer to that is yes and no. Have I been disrespected by somebody at Bridger that was the same, that, <coughs> that basically was the same as what was being said online? Yes. Does somebody at Bridger act like I was a company driver instead of a owner operator? Yes. I'll go into a little more detail about that too. I was in another area, not Carlsbad, not not Carlsbad and not Oklahoma. And a supervisor told me that if I was gonna take three days off, I was having truck problems and there was a few other problems. So I was like, you know, while we're dealing with these problems, I'll just go home for three days and then I'll come back and everything will be great. But if I was gonna take three days off, that I just need to turn my truck in because I can't take three days off. So if I'm gonna take three days off, I need to just turn my truck in. Which doesn't seem very right. You know, why would you tell me that? But apparently, sorry, the other phone just fell on the ground. But apparently that's cool because that person was just relaying an inf relaying a message from their boss. So I assumed that that's just how it is. And I didn't take the three days off and I was broke down for the three days so I didn't I didn't get to do anything anyways. So I just had to sit in my broke down truck at the truck stop for those three days because I couldn't go home for those three days because they said if I wanted to take three days off that I needed to go turn my truck in that it wouldn't work out. So yes, I felt disrespected before by somebody at Bridger. And some of the actions match the reviews that are online. But I will tell you that I think that was isolated to that person, to that area, and it hasn't happened since. So that's a plus, that it was an isolated incident. But it did happen, so I am telling you about it. But it was isolated to that person and to that area. And ever since I came to Oklahoma and Carlsbad, it hasn't happened again. Uh, the supervisors and AOMs in both areas have been fine. Uh, everybody I talked to in safety and recruiting, all those areas have been fine. So I think it was just an isolated incident to that area. And I still get messages from you guys that work here with the same exact problems that are happening from the same exact area. So I don't know what to say. The problem has been brought up to them and they have not addressed it. And I imagine they have no intention on addressing it. That's your first question. We got like three more to go. And that's the end of this video. I'm waiting in line so I can load. I'm behind one more truck. So I got a couple minutes. Question two is, can you really make money at Bridger? Absolutely you can. Um, I know you watch on YouTube, some of the sand guys are having a hard time right now. But that's not the case for oil. Our work is very consistent. We... Uh, we are steadily getting four or five, six loads every day, and I don't see it slowing down, at least here in Carlsbad. We, I think that if you ran well and you did 30 loads a week or so, you should be able to do that. If you're on the old lease, or if you're on the new lease, the $750 a month lease truck payment, I think that you probably can take home anywhere from $23 to $2,600 a week after all your expenses. If you're on the old lease, the really expensive truck payment, 
the rates are higher, so I think you can take home probably close to three grand every week consistently. But it really just depends on what you run, you know. I, that's why I don't show you guys my settlements. Uh, if you email me, I, I I walk you through them and I tell you how I run and I show you what I make and stuff like that. But I don't advertise my settlements out here because everybody works different and everybody's situation is different. And you may not click as fast as I clicked or you may not be able to move as fast as I do or you may not get it as fast as I get it. So that's my reason for not showing settlements. But consistently, if you're working out here and you're doing your 6-1 or your 24 days a month, you should be able to do 23, 24, 2500 take home a week on the new lease payment. On the old, it's probably closer to three grand a week. But that just depends on you, man. If you wanna work, there's a couple guys that wanna work that I've met and they're doing great. And then there's guys that aren't doing great and I don't know why. And if you're not doing great, let's talk and I can show you exactly what I do, how I fill up, how I run my truck, everything I do. I don't know everything, but I know what I am doing is working and I'm more than happy to share it with you. My recruiter told me blah, blah, blah. Is it true? I don't know what your recruiter told you. I don't know where they get their information from, but I can tell you for a fact that I don't believe any of them will mislead you intentionally. At one time I did believe that, and you can tell by going back to my videos, I believe that. I don't know the right word. I felt like I was misled. I don't think it was intentional. I think they were just passing along the information that they knew at the time. I think that you should probably do your research. Talk to me if you're gonna be on the crude side. Crude side. Talk to some of the sand guys if you're gonna be on the sand side. I have no idea about water. I got nowhere to tell you to start to do any kind of research about water. But if you're gonna to come to the crude side, talk to me, uh, look in the comments. You can look for a commenter named Jason G. That's his last name. Message him, he's in the comments every once in a while. Uh, there's a few guys, a few current Bridger guys that just came on that are new guys that you can message and talk to them and ask them how it was. But don't take your information just off me because you may not work the same as me. You may not do things the same as I do. Uh, you may not have the same drive as me. You may not have the same motivation as me. Or you may be even more motivated than I am. I don't know. I don't know your situation. I know that I do very well. Uh, I know that my driver will do very well because I'm responsible for his wealth. I'm responsible for his, uh, his success. And so I know it'll, he'll do well. But I don't know you being an owner-operator coming into this. I don't know your experience. I don't know anything about you. So I don't know how well you'll do. But I hope you do well. And if you're not going to do well, if you're not doing well, shoot me a message and we'll talk about it. That's that for now. I, uh, this is a very boring video. I know. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. I just wanted to answer the questions that people have asked me. Some of the answers you may not like, but every single answer is true. And every single answer or every single question I chose for a reason. If you have any specific questions, shoot me an email, macp at usa.com, m-a-c-k-p at usa.com. Thank you so much, Dave, for being in the beginning of this video. You're awesome, bro. You've done an amazing job out here, and I wish I could show you, or I, I hope that I'm showing you how much I appreciate you every single day. If you want to drive for me, shoot me a message, and let's get your application in. You can drive for me. I have a few other things that I'm working on right now, but if you want to drive for me in this if you want to drive for me at Bridger or Pilot or whatever you want to call us right now, if you want to drive for me at Pilot, shoot me a message. Let's talk. Let's see if we're compatible. Let's see if we get along and you can drive for me. I still got Keith and uh, Ben and a couple other guys going through the process. I got one guy in Oklahoma approved, but he doesn't want to come on until the work comes back in Oklahoma. And then I got Keith that we're so close to being approved. I know we're going to be approved. I just know it. And he'll be on in the next couple weeks and you can meet him. All great guys. I got a lot of confidence in every single one of them. And I'm super excited for them to join my team. And I can't wait to, wait to see what we all can succeed together. Shoot me an email if you want any information. And adios, man. I'm out of here. I got to get to work. 
This truck just moved out of the way. So I got to get to work. Adios.